Pantano. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Oh, great. All right. Your surgery seemed to go well. Good. Um, we gave you heparin before to make sure that you don't develop any clots. We're going to continue to give you morphine and heparin and some antibiotics to stop any clots from forming, stop pain, and also make sure you don't develop an infection. Okay. Um, however, since you're going to be going home in a few days, we want to start you on Coumadin. Coumadin is also an anticoagulant and it'll help prevent clots as well. I thought that I was only going to be on one drug. I don't get it. Oh, great question. Time for some patient teaching. Well, Coumadin takes two to three days to build up in your system. Mm. So we want it to build up in your system before we send you home. That way you won't develop any clots at home. Okay. Let me go grab some. All right, let me check your wristband. And what's your name and date of birth? Cassandra Pantano, 830-93. All right, great. Here's your Coumadin. Thank you. Miss Pantano. Oh my goodness, you're bleeding. Let me look at that. Oh my. My patient is bleeding. What should I do? Let me check her lab values. Oh, here we go. Oh no, her INR is 17. It should only be between two and three. Hmm, I need to find the antidote. What's the antidote for Coumadin? Oh yes, it's vitamin K. Oh look, some vitamin K. Let me just draw this up. As mentioned in the skit, vitamin K is the antidote for Coumadin. It can be found in things like spinach. Hello, how are you, Mrs. Robert Shaw? Great. Um, so the surgeon said your uh, knee replacement went well. Are you having any pain this afternoon? Um, not my knee, but my calf sure hurts. Oh, well, let me take a look at it. Oh my, it's red and warm and swollen. I think you have a DVT. What's that? A deep vein thrombosis. It's a clot that forms sometimes after orthopedic surgeries. I'm going to have to get a venous Doppler to confirm the diagnosis. Hi, Mrs. Robert Shaw. I just spoke to your doctor and he looked at your results and he said that it is positive for a DVT. So we're going to have to have you on bed rest for the next two to three days so you do not dislodge the clot and we're going to get you started on heparin immediately. Now heparin takes 20 minutes to, to um, take effect if it's given sub Q, but since we need it immediately, we're going to start you up with an IV drip, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Ravishar. How are you today? Oh my, yeah. you're bleeding. This isn't good. Let me check your PTT. Oh no, your PTT is 90 seconds. It's only supposed to be 70. Your blood's too thin. I have to stop the heparin drip immediately. And I'm going to have to give you the reversal agent, with this, which is protamine sulfate. Um, your PTT should decrease with the pernamine sulfate and the bleeding should stop. As mentioned before, the antidote to uh, heparin overdose is protamine sulfate. Hello. Hi, Ms. Haverding. How are you feeling today? I'm okay. I'm a little tired. Hmm, let me check your heart rate. Your heart rate's kind of low. I'm going to go check your chart. Okay. Oh, I can't remember what Alzheimer's drug I gave Ms. Haverding. To remember, I use RACE. Razadone, Aricept, Cogentin, and Exelon. Hmm, I gave Aricept. Uh, I'm gonna, she thinks she has too much though. I'm gonna have to give atropine as an antidote to take out some of that uh, acetylcholine. I thought atropine was only used preoperatively. It can be to lower secretions so that they don't, the patient doesn't aspirate as an anticholinergic, but today we'll be giving it as an antidote. 
I know that atropine can be given sub Q, IM, or PO, but to bypass the first pass effect, I think I'll give it IM. Hi, Miss Haberdink. I have your atropine. Can I have your name and date of birth? Jeanette Haberdink, August 10, 1993. Okay. As discussed in the video, atropine is the antidote for anticholinesterases. Yeah, shot! Woo! Cheers! Oh man! Oh, ripping shot! You wanna take another one? No, you know what? I have some oxycodone left over from when I had my knee replaced. Nice. Let's try it. All right. I heard it's better if you crush it. Okay, yeah, let's crush it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll cut it for ya. Mm, nice and smooth. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Early for me? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's so good. <laughs> What's up, guys? Cass? Mm. Charlotte? Mm. What's wrong with you guys? Oh no! I have to call 911 immediately! Hello, I need an ambulance. Yeah, my friend's overdose of oxycodone. Okay. Hi, Dr. Doolittle? Her respirations are only 8 per minute and heart rate is only 50. Do you think you can put in an order for Narcan, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to administer one milligram of Narcan IM. Mm. As mentioned before, Narcan is the reversal agent for opioids.